so beautiful to see how this man is trying so hard to touch all aspects of human living like human life human existence by creating impact and he's dropping money back to back and most times we really don't see it as see if he's doing anything to impact but a lot of us actually see the commitment the strength the zeal he puts even though he did not win he is on his own trying his best to do something very unique and beautiful for the human nature well the video you're about to watch now is actually coming from h e peter Obi, a speech he actually gave some weeks ago and yes it's not a new video for those of you who might have seen it now enjoy the video video credit goes to at ken tv don't forget to subscribe And all the reverends that are here, our provost and our team, and this wonderful students. When, when provost was talking, I said, provost, I was invited for lunch. And uh, I've, I've almost lost appetite when your demands were rolling out. <laughs> but let me continue like I've always done wherever I'm here. Thanking the Almighty God for the person of Bishop Ikako. <clears throat> you will only you will only appreciate what my Lord has done here if you were part of here when we started. Come. Because the Archbishop had told me, we had just said there was a, a dilapidated church, hospital, in Amish, which Amish people had graciously handed the Bishop to manage. And we came here there's no way, no way, if you visit here, you will come back again. And we said, my Lord, how are we going to repair this hospital? My Lord was very, very generous, very kind to us. He gave us a deal we know wasn't going to do it. And we say, let's start. And I can tell you, like he said, I can't say, it, he said that my Lord, whenever I come here, I can say that at the beginning, I remain eternally grateful to Almighty God for creation of your own person. And I did say something today. And when uh, I was speaking to a governor just about three days ago. And I said, my brother, I just not governor of Alan Brothers, just one of the governors. I said, my brother, you want to serve your people. I want you to appreciate that you are governor by grace of God. It's not by your might. So don't abuse grace of God. Serve the people faithfully. And if you want to do so, go and pack down with the church. And I say it any day. Go and partner with voluntary agencies. And you deliver some key critical things. The critical things you need for development are number one, health. You might not know what people used to measure development. There's only three measures of development anywhere in the world that is fundamental. Health, education, and pulling people out of poverty. If you like, do any other thing. If you like, build any other thing. If these three things are not working, you have failed. 
And when you talk about health, you talk about when you talk about health care, the most critical personnel in health care is the nurse, not the doctor. Coincidentally, I used to always tell people here, whenever you go to hospital in Nigeria, the doctor seems to be in charge. Whenever you go to hospital outside Nigeria, I lived in the UK for 10 years, the doctor directs the nurse. The nurse directs the doctor. Because the nurse is the owner of the patient. He says with the patient. He understands what is wrong. The doctor comes and he advises the doctor what to do. And everything. And I've seen it over and over again. I have a junior brother who is the doctor in America. And he will always tell me, once you have a good nurse, you can't go wrong. And he gave me an example of one day he was just trying to do something with a particular person. And they'll tell you all that. So for me, health is very important. And you are the foundation of it. And let me tell you, you're on the right, doing the right thing, you're on the right path. Today, globally, the shortage of nurses is over today, over 5 million. It is expected that by the year 2030, there will be over 20 million shortage of nurses. So you can look at where you're going. You are taking the right path. I came here to thank Ikako for what he's doing. It's not that I came here just to thank him for what he's doing. I continue. If you've been part of this school, you will know that I come here yearly. So it's not my last visit. Provost, I listen to you. We will be coming. I'll be talking to people. I'm talking to governments. I'm talking to people. Come and support this wonder that is happening here. I told my Lord I want to come. And he said, come and join me for lunch. When I told him, he said, my Lord, I want to come and see you. I want to come and see what our school is doing. He said, come and join me for lunch. Well, coincidentally, uh, I was telling Prof when we were coming here, Prof was telling me, I hope we'll join them for the lunch. I said, well, when we got there, I didn't know that Prof was another plans. <laughs> so it's not my last, it's not my last visit. With my, what my Lord has said today, I might have to increase the traffic of coming to be by annual instead of being annual. Because there's a lot of work to do. A lot today, I came because I know there's going to be demand, but I didn't know the demand would be more than what I expected. But because, you see, uh, I was coming thinking our school is up and running now, so the demands will be low. But I can see that we still need to do a lot of work. So what I'm going to do, my Lord, today, I came prepared. I'm going to give you, before I leave here, a check of 10 million naira.
You people are the young ones. You people are the future. Our country is going through difficulties. Remain prayerful for our country. Remain prayerful for our leaders. Remain prayerful that we have good leaders. But at any time you are praying for Nigeria, because we, the politicians, we, the leaders, are the problem of the country. So it's good that you put us in prayer. And like I've always requested, and you will see me request every day, your prayer point should always be that God should touch us, touch our hearts, to use public money for public good. It is not our money. If we leaders can stop and reduce the stealing, a lot can be achieved. And that is the prayer that I want you to continue to pray for us. So that we can think that God did not create us alone and use the resources of the state to do something better. So thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you, my Lord, for the lunch. Next time I will come, I will request that maybe you will do the lunch before the provost talk. <laughs> <laughs> so that we have appetite to eat. <laughs> Thank you and God bless all of you. A round of applause for His Excellency. So today, I'm sure His Excellency will be very glad to see where you now started. You didn't waste your support. You didn't waste your money. You didn't, you know, give us money. And we maybe did. you only saw the and you are seeing the canopies and the tents. Before you go, we we'll take you around briefly, and you see where we are. We have had so many new buildings and new hostels, and we have our CBT computer lab there where we take our exam CBT, which they are just on now. We have our water, we have our generator, we have our everything. 
And you know, we started to look for school of nursing. Your Excellency, here is not a school of nursing now. It is College of Nursing Sciences. And it's a wonderful thing we started. It's a great thing. Maybe when the provost will have the chance to talk for five, ten minutes, she may say some other things. But I want to tell you that we are happy that you are here to see us again. You promised me you would be coming and you have started coming again. So, and I want to tell you, not peeping into the provost's mind, that the National Board for Technical Education came here for accreditation last, uh, is it June? Yes. Last June, and they finally gave us accreditation. Uh, from this January now, this school is registered in Jump Potter. So admission is true jump from this year. Yeah, for, so that once you graduate here, you go to it for youth service and you continue. So we are running midway free program. We are about to start our health. Uh, and whatever things we will do here, we are working towards making here a university of medical sciences. No, that's my target. That's where I'm heading to. That's why I mean, when I talk about college of nursing, people were laughing there. How can it be here? But well, here, the first college of nursing science that got accreditation is this school. Good and new ones. So, Excellency, that's my opening remark. And why it is long is because the food is not ready. <laughs> but that is true. If this food has been ready, I wouldn't say long things. So, I don't know next so much my lord bishop for giving me the privilege to say one or two things about this college i want to start by giving all glory to god almighty for this pleasant and amazing surprise by my lord bishop he didn't even whisper to us that we are having an august visit thank you sir we give god the glory for this day the clemency of the weather the journey message granted to His Excellency and His Entourage to be here. I want to specially appreciate you, my Lord Bishop, for all your selfless, sacrificial support to bring this college up to that standard that we have seen today. I, I want to also acknowledge the support of your wife because without her being at the background, you wouldn't have been able to achieve so much. In a very special way, I want to acknowledge the presence and the benevolence of the former governor and the presidential candidate for Labour Party, who still loves us and has found time out of his busy engagement to be here with us. Thank you, sir. I appreciate the interest that came with him. I want to thank the governing council of this college, all the members, the staff, both teaching and non-teaching, and the entire student body that are here today. You are welcome. Um, my Lord Bishop has um, done part of my job and it makes it easier for me. I want to tell everybody here, most especially Your Excellency, sir, that by the benevolence of my Lord Bishop, College of Nursing Sciences, Amici, is the first College of Nursing Sciences in Anambra State to obtain approval to commend the national diploma and higher national diploma in nursing program in Nigeria. <laughs> national Board for Technical Education came here in June and we were granted approval in August. And as of October, then John Potter recognized us and students have changed their institution from their former choice to our school. And by God's grace, having obtained approval by the, from the Governing Council just last week, Friday, the first and our adult student, that the first born in Igbo, our pioneer student will be commencing 
academic activities in June 12, Feb I mean in February 12 this year. The students that will be living in the hostel will be arriving on the 11th of February, while academic activities will kick start on 12th of February. <laughs> Having said that, and please permit me because when you are in any academic institu institution that is growing like a baby, we are like Oliver Twist. Just as you nurture a newborn baby from birth up to two years, preschool age, up to school age, and continues to a teenager and adolescent, adolescent. That is how we are. We have gone far with respect to our needs. My Lord Bishop has single-handedly acquired 100 laptops for our CBT lab. And currently, we are writing our examination, both internal and external, using CBT, which is what is involved by the two governing the councils regulating the training in this school, and that is North and Free Council of Nigeria and National Board for Technical Education. In line with that, we still have some finishing touches to put into that lab, like CCTV cameras, additional hair conditioners, and additional 100 computers. Why? Because we need up to 200 to make it a standardized laboratory that can be used by even JAM or any other institution for computer-based examination. For our auditorium, we also need air conditioners and selling fan to make it more conducive for the increased enrollment that we are experiencing. Currently, the student enrollment of this college stands at 526. And by the time we receive the MD student, we will be adding 120 to that figure because that is the quota approved for us by JAM. In line with this, we are having increasing number of male students. I know that at four times, nursing was being looked at as a profession for dropout, a profession for the female foot. But now, we are having increased number of male students coming in to sandwich and garnish the profession. Because of that, we need a male hostel that will accommodate the increased number of students, and we also need staff quarters. My Lord Bishop has said it all, that we are moving towards University of Medical Sciences, Amici. And that calls for increased needs and requirement to put it to test. I want to say that if this are done, it will go a long way to push us further. Let me stop there because I know that other things will be communicated via my Lord Bishop to His Excellency. Thank you, sir.